set a date this morning, so I have to ask you a really big favor. Okay. It's about money. It's probably not the best time. Oh, God, stop it. I need a dress. And if it helps, I promise to pay full price. Is my best friend down? Sure. Do you want the Lindsay Strauss tearaway train? It's what all the runaway brides are going to be wearing this season. So, not funny. No, I was thinking something, like, non-traditional, you know, like... Rocker, glam, she kind of like um, Stephanie Seymour's dress she wears in the Guns N' Roses video. Skanky. I can do that. Wow. Who peed in your Cheerios? I just had a thing with Victoria. I don't mean to take it out on you. For the record, it is very nice to see you so happy. Thank you. Everything is going really good, you know? It just, it feels right with Lucas and the labels taking off. I have a music legend in my studio right now. Who? It's Mick Wolf. Cool. You are so musically challenged. I guarantee you, you have like 30 songs on your iPod that he's played on. And he knew Ellie. So... It's like this window into a world that I've never gotten to see. I mean, you cannot imagine what it's like to finally find out what your mother was like when she was young. Maybe a little. Brooke, what happened with Victoria? Nothing. It's not important. I'm fine. Let's get to work on the dress, huh? Do an impression of a celebrity or a famous character. Uh, this is gonna be awesome, baby! He's a diaper dandy, a trifecta magician! Stick by towel. He's a sports announcer. He's really famous. <laughs> you seem so familiar, love. Have I threatened you before? I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. So my sister Mary Kate was like, Ashley, you really need to eat something. Merry Christmas, yo! Building alone! I like you. Do you like me? I like sexy time explosion. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dawson. I just... I love Pacey. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> My wife, she very nice. High five! <laughs> you do really good on them. <laughs> Sorry guys, visiting hours are over. Do you need anything? No, I'm cool. I know you both want me. <laughs> yeah. My dreams. present for taking such good care of my gods. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have anything for you, babe. Oh, that's a present for me, too. Well! You said okay. Last night when I told you that Julie and I used to be in love, you said okay. Okay? No, no, you can't just say it's okay, right? You're supposed to be jealous or ask questions or get mad. Okay. You can stop with the okays.
You guys all right? Yeah, um, Lucas, did you not pay for Brooke? I paid for her. I just had them wait an extra ten minutes before they let her go. So you're just screwing with her? And you don't think she screwed with me? Non-exclusive dating, the costume for the masquerade party, the fantasy boy draft misunderstanding. Look, I've done everything she's asked me to do since she got back, and what do I get? Ooh, front row seat to her and Keller in bed together. Well, look, wait, just stop, okay? It's not like you don't have a right to be upset, but at least wait five minutes and talk to her and then give her a ride home. Can't do it. Are you guys coming? I gotta be at the studio right now, and I can't wait for her. It's okay. I'll wait for her. Okay, thank you. Lucas, what am I supposed to tell Brooke? Tell her to call Chris Keller. You find it yet? Damn it! Let me ask you something. If I have a heart attack, do you die too? That's... that's really sweet. Okay, I'm not arguing with you. Oh, come on, Peyton. That's what we do, okay? We have these inner conversations daily. Am I gonna look stupid? Am I pretty enough? Did Jake just want to get in my pants? Should Lucas be with me instead of Brooke? No, okay, you're wrong. Lucas and I are just friends. And Jake loved me. Whatever you say, cheerleader. Poor me. Wine, wine, mope, mope. Always the victim. My mom died, Jake left, Ellie lied. Boo hoo. You really are a bitch. I'm not the one that sent Ellie away. People always leave, but Peyton always drives them away. Where's the bracelet, Peyton? Hey, proud wifey. Hi. Nathan looked nervous to you at all. Well, he looked like the star of the basketball team. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Rachel told me she asked you for tutoring help and you turned her down. Yeah. Can you blame me? She's been hitting on Nathan for a month. I know. I know. She has flaws, big ones. But deep down, I promise you she's a really good person. Oh, my God. You and Lucas with your second chances. I cannot help her. Okay. I'm not saying you have to tutor her. I'm just saying she's been really good to me lately. So think about it, okay? Thing you finding Lucas like that? If he hadn't come along, who knows what might have happened? Everything turned out okay. No, not really. I don't know what hurts worse. You and Lucas sneaking around behind my back or you lying about it to my face. Bro, no. The next time you want to steal my boyfriend, you might want to turn that thing off. I went into his room to check on him, and his computer was on. I know you two were together. He meant everything to me, Peyton. And I was ready to try and be his friend if that's what he needed. No, I don't really care if I see either one of you again. points for a big splash. Let's see what you got, Jimmy Jam. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, perfect 10. Perfect 10, buddy. Come on, Nanny Gary. 
Hold on. <laughs> Put your tent on that. Throw me, Daddy. Uh, Jeremy, your dad has to do his rehab. That's okay. Come here, you little monkey. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hey, you splashed me. Thanks. So, not so fun now, huh? Wow. Splashing a little kid, huh? You got a problem with that? Oh, oh, yeah, oh, no. yeah, get me, Daddy. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Ah. Ah.